Pro tip, I am the Amen Osiris, God of law. I specialize in removing you or keeping you from child support. Now, I get a lot of questions, I get a lot of calls. How is it that they can do this to me? How is it that they can do this to me? How is it they can do that to me? Okay. Number one, it's simple. All right. Governments are instituted among men and derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. Okay. That's the uh, Declaration of Independence. Uh, usually in Article 2 of most state constitutions, it'll clearly tell you that government was instituted to be a benefit, security, and protection of man's right to be equally free and independent. All right. So therefore, child support is not for uh, protection of your rights. All right. It's federal funding. Everything that the government does is supposed to be in accordance with the Constitution to protect your rights. But only human beings have rights. All right. The, the Constitution is clear. It says all men are by nature, God, equally free and independent. It does not say all obligors. It does not say all employees. It doesn't say all mothers and fathers. It doesn't say uh, obligors. It doesn't say taxpayers. It says men flesh and blood human being man created by the creators of creation the gods and if you don't believe me look in Genesis 1 and 26 and God said let us make man in our image and likeness us and our are plural which means more than one it also states down in there let him rule over it does not say let him be ruled over so therefore if you're being ruled over it's because going back to the Declaration of Independence you have consented to be governed all right, plain and simple. So instead of knowing what LeBron James is doing and uh, all these sports figures or dancing with the stars or the Atlanta households, all right, you need to be digging in the Constitution and you need to be learning your rights. That's number one. Now, remember, your rights do not come from the Constitution. It is a mere affirmation that they exist. And that's why uh, these public officials are uh made to swear an oath all right child support only applies to an obligor and if you look in the uh i know a lot of you don't have it all right but under accuracy of information in the child support hearing officer programs manual all right it clearly states i believe under 1208 the litigants must be properly named and properly identified as either obligor or obligee an obligor under federal law is the person obligated to pay child support a person is not such because he is human, but because rights and duties are ascribed to him. The person is the legal subject or substance in which rights and duties are attributes. An individual human being uh, uh, who has such attributes is what lawyers call a natural person. The Constitution does not say all natural persons are free. It says all men. There is no such thing as a natural person. Now, in the common terms, yes, a natural person is a human being, but under law, it is not. It is a slave. Okay, the one thing that is killing you are the words that are on these documents. Okay, you'll notice that a lot of times these documents are signed by judges or not signed, but they usually have a rubber stamp on them with the judge's name. That makes it uh, appear to be legal. Then it also says if you don't show up, we're going to place a warrant out for your arrest. Okay, and that will be a lie under Article 7 of the Constitution. And incidentally, I'm coming from the New Jersey State Constitution, but pretty much all state constitutions are the same all right no warrant shall issue without probable cause probable cause means a crime has committed and a crime if a crime has been committed there better be a victim or some property damage okay now the Supreme Court rulings on child support hearings is very clear child support is it's no special debt all right it's a common debt it's no different than your rent or your car note and I don't see anybody going to jail for rent of car notes but what makes this so unique is under federal law, remember I told you child support is federal law, it's not state law. The federal government reimburses the states, 66%. All 50 states get an equal 66% across the board. Okay, some share might be higher because, you know, like California, California is a huge state. So I think they're raking in 150, 160 million from child support profits. Now that's profit. Who makes profits? Businesses, all right? Um, so child support, it's illegal, it's fraud, and it's all initiated by voluntary contract, all right? And that is the, uh, the, the uh, at 
it's also federal law. I can't quote it right now because it's a goofy word. PORA, uh, Professional Work and Responsibility Act of, I think, 1997 or whatever it is. All right, but that makes child support voluntary. All right, without paternity establishment, all right, the courts, the baby's mother or the, 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 the baby itself does not, does not get a red cent. Okay, that is the contract that binds you. And if you watch some of the um, uh, the videos that I posted where these uh, judge impersonators are saying, well, you have a legal responsibility to pay child support. Legal means created by law. And if it's created by law, that means it's a contract because a contract under Black's Law's dictionary creates or destroys or modifies a legal relation. All right. Without that contract, without a certificate of parentage or acknowledgement, voluntary acknowledgement of paternity, the court has no case against you. All right. So that's actually part of the uh, prevention services that we offer. Now, as far as the Exodus service, which is uh, equally as powerful, all right, that means you've already gone into child support and you've already signed your contracts, which means you succeeded, which means de-evolution of title to property. So you went from title of human being to property, which is an obligor. All right, the obligor is owned by the federal government. All right, now. How do we know that the obligor is owned by the federal government? Because underneath the Child Support Hearing Officer Program's Operations Manual, it clearly states that. It clearly states that the Social Security card is used to identify the obligor. It is mandatory that the obligor have a Social Security card name and number. And if you don't know how the Social Security card name and number works, think of it like Sam's Club. Without a SAMS membership card, you cannot go into SAMS and partake of the benefit. All right, the federal government works the same way. Without that card, you cannot get any government benefit. All right, and even though child support is really, it's a service, but it's a, it's a service that the government offers. It's no different than a driver's license. All right, that's a service. The only way that you can get that service is you got to go and apply for it. All right, that's number one. Number two, there's no law requiring you to have a social security card name and number. And it's the actual number that's enslaving every last one of you, 99.9% .9 of you. Uh, myself and probably other two other people in this country I know do not have social security card names and numbers. So therefore, we can't receive any government benefits. And being a former victim of child support was the first thing that I learned. So getting rid of the social, I was able to no longer receive the benefits. All right. That card, if you look on the back of it, is government property. It says this car belongs to the Social Security Administration and you must return it if we ask for it back. So therefore, it's not you. It is issued by the federal government to you when you apply or beg for it. Issued means to go forth as authoritative and binding. Again, it's a contract. And if you also look on the back of that card, it clearly tells you this card is invalid if not signed by the holder. If you look on the front of that card, all right, you're going to see a name that's spelled uh, that sounds like yours, all right, but the only difference is it's spelled in all capital letters, and that falls under Capitus Diminutio Maxima, and that basically means when a man's status has changed from free man to slave, it just to shorten it up, all right? If you don't want government benefits, stop being employed by the government. If you hold a social security card name and number, all right, uh, that is government property. Government property can only be issued to government employees, not private employees, federal employees. That's it. So therefore, every time you put that number on a document uh, from the government, you're stating that, yes, I am a federal employee. All right. Just like employees of any corporation, which we know the United States is a corporation under 28 U.S.C. 3215A. All right. And all states, all 50 states are corporations. They are not land masses. The state of New Jersey is physically domiciled in Trenton. You call it the state building. All right. Um, the land mass of Trenton, I believe, is 28 U.S.C. Uh, 297B. If you look that up, it clearly states judges were compensated to go from country to country. All right. The land mass that you live upon is called a country. So if you live in New Jersey, all right, that is the country of New Jersey. The state of New Jersey and the geographical land mass are two separate entities. The state, which is physically domiciled in Mercer County, and just so you know, county means corporation. Uh, and the city that it dwells in is Trenton. And just so you know, Trent, uh, city is a corporation. 
a borough, a township. These are corporations. All right. And if you don't believe me, again, don't take my word for it. Get your Black's Laws Dictionary and look it up. All right. It's clear as day. All right. The only way a corporation can have authority over you is if you're an employee of that corporation. So therefore, if you're holding a New Jersey state driver's license or whatever state you live in, all right, you're stating that you are an employee of that corporation. That's why when you get pulled over, the first thing they ask you for is what? Driver's license and registration. Okay. Once you give them that driver's license, you've, you've consented and said, I'm an employee. Now you're eligible for the benefits, which in that case are usually tickets and fine. And if you don't pay those, it's jail time. Child support is fraud. It is 100% fraud. Okay. Every state, like I said, they're getting reimbursed 66% are making billions it is a 50 billion dollar a year industry child support is a service okay it has customers all right and if you don't believe me again if you have the manual child support look it up down in section 1105 customer service a customer is one who uses uh, repeatedly does business with a business house or tradesman that's it all right so all the propaganda um, all the ignorance, all right, which means ignoring the facts, is due from manipulation and words of art. Okay, so basically, these people are speaking Spanish to you, all right, no offense to anybody out there, and you have no clue how to speak Spanish or German, all right. So that's where you need to focus your strength on. So you need to know what is being said to you. So you have the option now that you know that they're merely making you an offer in child support. And that's all it is. The offer is, will you be our customer? And you say yes. And that's why you're duped in the system. So for those, and I get hundreds of calls every day. Oh man, they're doing this to me. They're doing that to me. No, they're doing it to the obligor. Simply stop being the obligor. And there's nothing that they can do to you as a human being constitutionally. And if that's the case, then maybe it's time for uh, some people to start cracking some skulls and 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 getting getting the job done all right because if any man comes to try to take you to jail for child support you have a right to crush his skull and take his life all right even though you know <laughs> they're not going to tell you that but you have a right to defend your freedom it's constitutional guarantee number one all right and again your rights don't come from the state they come from the gods okay um you want to be free we we can assist you we can prevent you from going into child support or we can legally separate and remove you from child support. It is simple as pie. It's not hard. All right. We do not represent you. I am not lawyers. None of my staff are lawyers. What we are are experts in the law. You don't have to be a lawyer to be an expert to read what another man has written down. And especially when you have your handy dandy blacks laws, you can translate. All right. There's no man or woman that we cannot free from the system. The only thing that hinders you is your decision to be free because you are dependent. All right. Independent means not dependent. All right. If you have a driver's license, a social, uh, you're dependent. All right. What you did was you went and you begged the government by applying for these uh, government identification and uh, you lost your independence. It's really plain and simple. They know that they got you. Now, if everybody would just stop complaining and look at it like this, if every man under the sound of my voice on this planet, we'll just say in America, stopped going to child support court stopped paying the courts and paid the baby's mother directly that will put them out of business all right but you won't do it because you're scared what do you think they're going to put a warrant out for every man i mean there's millions of you out there it's just not going to happen so if everybody bands together and does what they're supposed to do you'll be free you can be free from child support all right the only thing that is keeping you in the system is you're scared Oh, but they're going to put a warrant out. They're going to do this. You're scared. It's, it's the bottom line. You're being a little bitch. Instead of smacking a taste out of somebody's mouth and telling them to go fuck yourself, you submit. All right. You saw the video where I, I with this fool in court who just submitted and consented to everything. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, fuck you, bitch. First and foremost, I would, why show up? <laughs> all right. Why go to a place, all right, where... At, at the drop of a dime, a man or a woman can tell some other man or woman to pull out their guns and handcuffs and tase you and put you in a cage. Doesn't make sense. I'm the Amen Osiris. I'm the God of law. If you want to be free, give me a call at 609-614-0683 or go to my website, www.deceptionstoppers.com. Hotep.